Okay. First step you do is you, you get yourself two channel stringers. They're all they're all the same length. They're all 20 foot long. And the, the way they have a hole in the middle here on both ends where you bolt the two foot high leg to it. Uh, a little bit later we'll we'll demonstrate where the leg will bring a leg in and how, and how you do it. Now the, re the way you can tell the top of the truss is you have five five eight inch bolt hole spacing where the idlers bolt to. That is the top of the truss. There's five of them. So you would take either whether you're bolting a 35 degree idler on there which normally that's what you bolt or a 20. But you take your 35 degree idler you put these two sections together you put this on here Pete, let's square the truss the channel part to get it easy. Then once as you can see, your next idler is going to go here. Your next one's going to go here. Your next one's going to go here. And your next one's going to be here. There'll be five top idlers per 20 foot conveyor section, which they are all the same. Now, on the bottom side, you have a four inch bolt hole spacing, which we're using these for the return rollers. Now I'll get a return roll clip and I'll show you how that goes on. Now this, this here is your return roller bracket. It bolts to the underside of the conveyor where you have your four, four inch spacing on the, on the holes. If you have a nut key, put that that, put your up through there. You have another nut. Add two of them. Let me get them. Okay. You leave them finger tight, then you take your return roller and it drops in, drops in the, in the slot there. You have, to, you have to go out a little, Keith. Pull that out. Did it go in? It's a quarter of an inch, Captain. Which way? Out. Take it out, Brett, a little bit. Okay, now your roller drops in. And before you tighten it up, you'll take yourself a square and square across to make sure your, your roller is square to the conveyor. The same thing you're going to do with the trophic, top troughing idler. You'll put it on, you'll square it, but also, it's very important to start out Start out with the end of your conveyors being square, and then you square everything off off this. When you pull this on, you square that, you square the return roller, and you just continue the process through every conveyor that you, 20 foot intermediate section that you do. Let's put, we'll put another idler on, and then, uh, let's put another idler on. Ready? Yeah. Okay, now, as far as bolting your two foot legs on here, this end hole right here, you line this one thing, one hole up, and it bolts there. You put a 5 8 bolt through there. Okay, you do the exact same thing on all four corners. Then you take your, then you take this section here, which let's spin it around and we'll put it on here. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it in here and we'll just put it. We're gonna this section here when you when you when you get the sections like this together, then you'll take another section just like that and it'll bolt. To this other hole and you'll continue it out throughout the line of the conveyor. 
back off in a minute. Now that, now this will complete your conveyor section. And you just continue that throughout the procedure. You bolt your top trothing eyelers on, your return rollers, and you have your two foot legs. And that's what holds, holds the sections together. You're going to use half inch bolts for the troughing eyelers and return rollers, and you're going to use 5 8 bolts for the connection for your legs to be bolted where the conveyor joins together. You just follow that procedure throughout the, throughout the conveyor. Take it down to there and you'll see. And you have the same thing, you continue your conveyor out this way for however how long it's going to be.